Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation live from Studio B. It is Kevin Young Day. The new men's head basketball coach at BYU set to be officially welcomed tonight at the Marriott Center. And before you hear from Coach Young, let's get some insider information from Dwayne Rankin, who's been working for the last six seasons as a Phoenix Suns insider for the Arizona Republic. Dwayne, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. How are you today? I'm good. How y'all doing? Uh, we're excited. Great. Understandably, because of uh, the magnitude of this hire for BYU, getting somebody that is as skilled and capable as Kevin Young. But you've been following him closely and the Suns staff and certainly the roster, as I mentioned, for the last six seasons. What are your impressions of Kevin Young and what is BYU getting in their new head coach? Well, first, he's young. At uh, 42, you know, you're getting a coach that can relate to players. Two, he ran offense with the Suns, so, you know, if you like watch what Phoenix does when it's not just throw the ball to Kevin Durant or Devin Booker and, or Bradley Peel and go one on one, you know, there's <laughs> pin downs or screens, there's movement. So I'm curious to see how much more of the offense we'll see from him uh, once he gets to BYU. I'm curious how that looks because you don't have guys at that level uh, that, that can do what a Durant or Booker or Bill can do. So I'm curious to see how that plays. I think you'll probably see more movement offensively. And he's got some kick to him. If you just go back and YouTube a video when he was in the G League, yep. when he got into it with Eric Mo, <laughs> uh, he, he got into it, you know, he got into it uh, during when Durant and uh, Jokic got into it last year. He jumped in that. He got into it in New Orleans. <laughs> and, uh, Zion had the breakaway dunk at the end, and it was a, a, a dust up between both sides. So Kevin Young got some kicks to him, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays uh, plays out. Uh, but he's a he's a guy that obviously uh, has coached at a high level, was up for a lot of NBA head coaching jobs. So that just tells you that he was on the trend of becoming an NBA head coach. But when home calls, uh, you listen. And so that's clearly what happened with BYU uh, getting in and and looking to 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 bring him on board, and and, and they landed him. So they're getting a guy who can literally walk into any home and say, "I was a player development coach for Devin Booker to start the conversation." That would probably be a good conversation starter to try to recruit a kid. Who doesn't like a little sriracha, right? Uh, which is fun. I can't wait for the dust up with Bill Self. That'll be great. The irony is that Musselman <laughs> leaves Arkansas. And then there's this tumble effect, right, uh, that involves, uh, you know, Mark Pope and now Kevin Young. You mentioned that uh, Kevin had been interviewing for a bunch of NBA jobs, uh, reportedly a finalist for the Nets job and, and so on and so forth. Right. Was your sense that he was probably going to take a head coach job at some point somewhere in the next year or two because it feels like the last year or two he was pretty close? Oh yeah, he was definitely looking to do that. Like, like, like you're not doing the interviews for practice. You're doing the interviews <laughs> to try to get a job. So, uh, so, so he definitely was looking to 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 do his own thing. And and he was he's and again, I, I believe he was training in that direction. But uh, at home can really make you uh, reroute your process. And I think that having the opportunity to to be back uh, in a familiar familiar place uh, is something that that. That, that got him on the path of going there. So uh, if if BYU is located in, you know, Colorado or California or something like that, I don't think it's happening. But because it's located where, he's, you know, the state he's from, then, yeah, it, it became a place that was that became a high interest for him. So, uh, but he can also get, always get back into the league if, if that's what he chooses to do. But I think he'd be good for college atmosphere. I really do. I talked with... Uh, someone close to college basketball yesterday, and they were saying that that Young and BYU is going to be a, would be a great fit for both sides. That he'll connect with the fan base. Obviously, he can coach, so uh, it's a win-win uh, for both ends, and and uh, and it'll be an opportunity for him to to show what he is as a coach. There are probably things that he hasn't been able to do since he was a head coach in the G League because he's been working for other people. I think now you'll see him bring all that out, and, and it's going to be exciting, I, I think. And, and, of course, the coach also would tell me about the fan base in BYU and, and how, how great it is. So uh, there will be a connection there, but then you still got to win.
And uh, it's not like BYU hiring you to go 500. They're hiring you because <laughs> they think you can take them to the next level. <laughs> so. Dwayne Rankin is a Phoenix Suns insider for the Arizona Republic. We're discussing the new hire of Kevin Young as the next men's basketball coach at BYU. And Dwayne, you've touched on it lightly with the high-profile guys that Kevin has worked with who have all been very outspoken about him getting a head coach job and wanting at times for him to be the next head coach of the Phoenix Suns. Specifically, Devin right. Booker has led that charge. Why is it that they feel so strongly about Kevin Young and his capabilities and are willing to offer those affirmations to him to be a head coach at the NBA level? If you just focus on Devin Booker specifically, Devin has talked about Kevin knows X's and O's. And that's big for, for a basketball head to understand, okay, this is what I'm asking you to do. This is the play that we're running. This is how you execute the play. So that's the first thing that Devin talks about when talking about Kevin Young. Second part is the communication piece. You know, he's able to communicate. And thirdly, you know, being able to do the practice work, being able to stay in the gym. When you when you're one of the when you're one of the better players in the league, a great player in the league, you want the coach committed to be to say, okay, look, if I want to come in at you know, six in the morning before practice and get some work in, are you coming in? If I want to stay late, are you staying late? That's the kind of coaches that those guys gravitate to because they're, they, they're showing an invested interest in your career. And Kevin Young has been about that uh, with Chris Paul. He's about obviously about that with Devin Booker. He's working now obviously with Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal as an associate head coach. So the commitment of wanting those guys that who already are great and all-time greats to be better, and him having a say in that, that speaks a lot to what Kevin Young is, and, and a big reason why he's in the position he's in with the Suns, and then the, obviously a big reason why you know BYU would have an interest in him because he has obviously shown the ability to work with uh, high-profile uh, type guys, and, and that again that'll resonate with the recruiting, that'll resonate with people wanting to to, to see him coach, uh, but again. All of that is going to sound great. It's going to look great, but you still have to win. And that's the challenge for him, and, and I think he, he's someone that's looking forward to it. Luckily, the Big 12 is like a super easy league to just jump into and win right away. Oh, wait, it'll be a challenge, but it'll be a fun challenge. You've touched on it, but could you go a little deeper on kind of who Kevin Young is professionally and personally? Well, professionally, you know, he, he was, a, like I said, he coached in the G League as a head coach for a number of years. Then he worked in Philadelphia under Brett Brown. And so he that's kind of where you get your feet wet. He did some G League work there. And then the opportunity came with Phoenix under Monty Williams in the first year they went to the finals. He was on staff. And so you have that situation where he jumped in and, and was able to be a contributor in that sense. And then the Suns next year, they won 64 games. Set a franchise record. He's an assistant on that staff. So he's worked with guys that obviously had won. He's obviously been part of successful um, staffs, successful teams. Uh, and then you look at, you just, you know, we're talking about the Suns, what, finals, 64-win uh, season, three straight playoffs, now it's four straight playoffs. It's like he coming from a from a situation where he did, we wasn't part of, of a winning culture. And Kevin was part of helping the Suns develop that culture. And he's someone that, if you want to look at a professional situation, all you got to do is watch the bench for the Suns when they play. And how many times you'll see Devin or you know one of the one of the guys go over and talk specifically to him during a break in the action? You know that just tells you, okay, well he has he has a connection with the guys, and the guys trust what he is saying to them. Uh, you're not talking to every assistant like that, and there's no disrespect to the rest of the assistants on any NBA staff. But you can tell when guys are having that communication with certain guys, and, and Kevin is one of those guys. As far as uh, his personal, obviously he's a family man. Um, that that's something that will, that goes over obviously well uh, on the college level when you walk in and you take the family picture and right before you know they announce you and and he talks about them. So you obviously will hear more about that once he gets there uh, for his press conference. But. You know, he has a little facial hair, a little beard. I don't know how much that's going to go over. Uh, <laughs> Y'all going to make him shave that, you know? Y'all going to make him shave the beard? Uh, I'm curious to see how that plays. 
but uh, <laughs> but you know, he 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 he's someone that again, mild mannered. When you speak to him, um, and that's what's interesting about him as a coach, off the court when you're just talking, he's like, "Hey, how you doing? You know, everything good with you?" Blah 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 blah. On it, he gets after. It. So I'm I'm curious to see how that works, not only for the fan base and for the you know administration and things like that, but for him. Like you can be a certain way in the league. You know, is that going to something he's going to continue to do in college? I, I'm, I'm, I want to see how all of that plays. And one of the things that gets kind of hidden under the radar, uh, Monty Williams missed, I think, four games in 64 win season. Uh, I believe he had COVID, and uh, they went two and two with Young as the head coach. And I thought that was at least a situation where he got into the fire of being an NBA head coach. And it's, it's a small sample size, but you saw how he organized things, how he got the team together, what kind of things they ran. So that, to me, not the biggest part of him as a head coach, but it's part of him that he was able to, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't, the team didn't just fall off by the wayside in those four games. You know, they were competitive, and I like that part for him that that's a reference point for him now, that he could be like, okay, you know what, I did do that um, in those four games. And and uh, and he was someone that was up for a lot of NBA head coaching jobs. Mm-hmm. The league is, that tells you that the league is saying, you're an NBA head coach. But obviously BYU, the the location, and, and, they, and they appealed to him and, and convinced him that if he wanted to continue his, uh, his coaching career, he could continue it at BYU. Plus, Contract helps, right? You know, he, yes, he they like they paying him penny. So, uh, so he, he, he get a little. He, he's getting a bag. Uh, the coach at BYU, so that helps as well. But uh, it's a, it's a great opportunity for him, and and uh, may lead to someday him being back in the NBA as a head coach. But right now, the opportunities with BYU, and he's taking it. Dwayne, great insight from you. We appreciate the time uh, at a busy time as you prepare to cover the Suns in the playoffs, and Kevin Young will be along for that ride as well. We'll be on Beard Watch tonight. Word has it he's already shaved it, but we will know tonight when he addresses everyone. Uh, I'm making that man (laughs) shave. That's terrible. (laughs) It's all good. (laughs) Dwayne, thanks for the time, man. All right, guys. Y'all be easy. Dwayne Rankin, Phoenix Suns insider for the Arizona Republic.